I can only imagine. What on earth were you thinking declaring war like that? Hmm. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. I acted on impulse. And you know how well those decisions turn out. Like the time you purchased that camper without checking if it still had its motor? In my defense, that guy never mentioned it was a restoration project. <laughs> or that time you gave me one of those Opai shirts thinking it was a kitten's face? Oh gosh, that. <laughs> and that's not to mention every time you hid the coupons from me so I wouldn't go crazy at the market. Oh heavens, absolutely! <laughs> doesn't justify anything, though. I know it doesn't. <sighs> Even in the right mind, I'd need someone to stop me from doing something incredibly stupid. I suppose neither of us were in our right mind. It's no excuse for what I did. The whole ordeal is my fault. It is no excuse for me either, then. Not when I could have stopped you. Beg pardon? I should have stopped you. I should have done something to calm you down instead of run off. I was so distraught and bent on making sure no child would ever hear the roars of fury I had heard. <laughs> I did not think about the wails of sorrow that surely came after. I did not want to be part of any plot for murder. I did not want that blood on my hands. Not that my efforts to prevent that amounted to anything. Six human souls harvested because a sentimental old goat could not keep them in the ruins. Torio. And with every life lost, of course I had to take it out on you. I intended to hurt you. I wanted to hurt you. I had to be sure you were pained with the same guilt I had losing those children. But if I had known I was hurting my son as well, I... I... I, I would have... Perhaps I would have realized earlier how much of a prideful fool I had become. Tori. I am a fool to hold that against you so incessantly. You were grieving and trying to keep hope from dying. Hope of better times ahead. You continue to do that for Asriel. You have been giving him motivation to keep going. Here I am letting my pettiness convince him otherwise. Because I cannot let go of the past, I am denying him a future. I... I do not want to ruin that boy's hopes and dreams! Tori! I have been a detriment to the both of you! I must come off as irredeemable! I... Please stop. Trust me when I say beating yourself up won't help for beans. I don't want you to do that. I just want you to let me be there for our son. I want to help. More than anything in the world, I want to see him happy. I know you want that too. So, you and I, we're gonna make that happen no matter what. Step by step, but we will. He deserves at least that much from a couple of sad old monsters, right? Right. The important thing is that you made your situation clear. It's obvious you both share an issue of clinging to the past. Nobody's perfect after all. If you're trying your best to overcome, who's to say she wouldn't, hmm? If you say so. See you next week! Yeah. Well, hi there. Mom, he, he's within fireballing range. Har har. My child, I must apologize. 
I have not been the most exemplary parent, and my refusal to change has been hurting you severely. I failed you for that, but I will not make that mistake again. That being said, I must make this very, very clear. Regardless of what you did in the past, no matter how unpleasant, you are our son. Nothing will ever change that. Should you ever feel down, remember- You're never alone. <laughs> We're here for ya. Goat strangulation noises. Or that time you gave me one of those opie shirts thinking it was a kitten's face? Oh my god, she's talking about the boob shirt. Oh my god, I just got that right now. Oh my god, I want an opie shirt. 